Hello VLSI enthusiasts. Today our video is about analog VLSI projects and also I have included the questions which are asked in my interview so that you can get an idea of how to do projects and how to prepare for interview. I have provided links as well so stay tuned. The softwares which can be used for analog VLSI projects are Cadence or LTSpice. Cadence is paid but most of the colleges will give free access to the students. So check with your college if you have free access to the Cadence. In case it is not, you can use LTSpice. An overview of any analog project is to design or simulate a block. For example, an OPAMP or an LNA and optimize it for target performance. Initially, we have to set some target parameters and try to achieve them by optimizing the circuit. For example, in case of low noise amplifier, we try to optimize the noise figure of the circuit. One of the main important sources for analog VLSI projects is Hafiz Kitty YouTube channel. He was a PhD student at IIT Hyderabad. His videos are provided for CAD and software but you can modify them and use it for LT space as well. He'll initially do calculations and later on show the simulations also. If you are new to Cadence and don't know where to get started, this playlist will help you. I will provide the links in the description. Please check out. First project we shall discuss is two stage OPAMP implementation. These are the videos from Hafiz KT YouTube channel. This playlist contains of differential amplifier and OPAMP because differential amplifier is a part of op-amp so initial three lectures will be on differential amplifier and the next op-amp implementation is taught questions asked to me in interview based on two-stage op-amp project is they have asked me to draw the two-stage op-amp which i have designed i have drawn the circuit and they started posing me various questions about this they asked me what different components do in the circuit and why are we using two stages for this they have asked me to derive W by L ratio of this transistor given W by L ratios of other transistors and the current flown in this stage is double of this stage. For these conditions, I was asked to derive W by L ratio of first transistor. Next question asked is, did you use compensation and how did the compensation help in the circuit? What is the role of the capacitor and how did it change the poles of the circuit? They have asked me to draw Bode plots before and after using the Miller capacitance. And the next questions asked are, will Miller capacitor shift only one pole or does it shift both the poles? Can you use a big capacitor instead of a Miller capacitor which is connected one way to the ground? What is the problem in case you do such a modification to your circuit? If area is not the constraint, does a big capacitor instead of Miller capacitor does the same job? These are the questions posed to me on two-stage OPAM project. The next analog project that we are going to discuss is band gap reference circuit also known as BGR. This is the playlist which has videos of designing and simulation of BGR in Cadence. For theory or interview preparation, you can refer to CD lectures by Professor Rajesh Zile, Analog Electronics. There, in reference circuits lectures, BGR is taught. One of the questions asked in interview based on op-amp is this. This is a BGR circuit. They have asked us to find the sign of the op-amp for this network to be in negative feedback. The next project is low noise amplifier or LNA. For this you can refer to CMOS RFIC book by Bezad Rasavi sir. As additional sources you can also refer to Sushanta Sen Gupta's YouTube channel where he has provided analysis of LNA. These videos are important for interview as well. So please revise them a week before your interview. Now let us look at the interview questions asked from LNA. First thing they have asked me is noise figure calculation. In case you are adding LNA as a project in your resume, you must learn noise figure calculation, noise calculations. For this you can refer to Razavi Sir's book RFIC and you can do problems from the back of the textbook. The interviewer has given me a circuit and asked to calculate the noise figure. Then he kept on adding resistors and asked me to recalculate. It went on for like 15 minutes only on noise calculation. Next question on LNA is, he has asked me to draw which LNA I have implemented. After I have drawn, he asked me if this capacitor here that I have included or is it a parasitic capacitance. He asked me why I have used this inductor here and couple of questions on input impedance. One of the most important questions in LNA is input impedance calculations of the LNA. 
these are the various questions posed the next question was on cascode mosfet they have asked me what is the noise included due to the cascode mosfet and what if r not is not equal to infinity for the cascode mosfet they have asked me to derive the noise contributed finally for this question they have asked me why did i choose this configuration for implementing in cadence next question on lna is he has given me two blocks of amplifiers with gains and noise figures and he has asked me to choose one amplifier which i can use as low noise amplifier after i choose one he made modifications in the number and gave different scenarios and asked me to choose one block every time and asked me why i was choosing he was more focused on my analysis rather than my answer and the last question asked on lna is input impedance the interviewer asked me to write the input impedance equation for lna he asked me to derive it but i have already practiced it so i remembered it and i wrote it quickly then he replaced this inductor with capacitor and asked me to rewrite the equation he asked me why i was getting a resistive term even though there is no resistor present in this circuit so my tip for analog would be be clear with your basics and think out loud whatever whatever you are trying to answer they are more interested on your analysis and in your analytical thinking than in the final result i hope this helps thank you